Live from the south part of Austin, where some rain came a-tumbling down. Ooh, you know it's going to be a great night. Now, stiffen your resolve, because here come your favorite hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young! Guitar would have would have would have plus that. Do we want to do it again? I mean, you know what? Maybe let's we go. should. Let's oh, go. Okay. Yeah, right. let's go. Let's do it again. All right. All right. Stop what you're doing. Oh, 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 oh the same song. I thought we were both. I thought no. I thought we were gonna do a different song. No, no, no. I was gonna do Welcome to the Jungle with you. Great. Okay. Let's let's do one that more one. Time? Okay. Yeah. One more time. <laughs> All right. Take three and three tap. All right. Stop what you're doing, cause I'm about to ruin the image and the style that you're used to. I look funny. Cause my name is Brian Brushwood, see, and I'm waving to you and me. Now get around, cause I'm the new Brian Brushwood in town. And I'm smiling like a fucking clown. I laid my uh, co-host out, and now he's just floating about. My name is Justin, and I'm really fucking angry. Cause Brian isn't trying to help me. Help him! There is no improv, there's just hate, dog. <laughs> All right, well, one more time. No, no. Uh, <laughs> seven album deal. How about there we that? Go. <laughs> we'll right. just buy it. All right. Oh. I mean, you I know. I deserved that. I deserved it. No, I, 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 that I, was a lifetime achievement award. That, I've left you out to dry so many times, and you left me out to dry. And you want to know what? I'm feeling it. I'm crisp. Uh, I'm mar martinized. <laughs> I mean,. There are a few times that we could afford to be this sassy because mm -hmm. we know what we have in our back pocket. Shall we just jump straight to it? Do we know what we have in our back pocket? <laughs> I feel like you know what we have in our back pocket. I kind of know. I kind of remember what's in our back pocket. Shall we jump to it? Do we? Are you talking about the story? Yep. Okay. Because I don't know the story. If you want to get right to the story, it depends on... on, on you want to know what? Let's do one thing first. Okay. Bryce, can you give us the topic for which I sent you earlier today? Oh, jeez. All right, here we go. We're going to start with this. Do you get it yet? Okay. Spoiler. This is a viral no. video. <laughs> this is a viral video. Either Brian... Or Brett know what it is. And so all I want you guys to do is just as soon as you get the joke, you just say, I get it. All right? Do do we have to be right? Uh you know what? When you get it, you'll get it. When you get it, you'll get it. Okay. All, all right? right. All right. When you get it, you'll get it. You just say, I get it. We're going to let the audio of this play for everybody. Here we go. Bryce, go. Uh, oh, sorry. It likes to, they, they like to start you muted, you know, the way the internet is now. Oh, and it's someone else's fault. Gigi German, her whole life. She clearly is older than social media, okay? And then one day, after writing Danny G. German her entire life, this thing called social media comes out. And she's like, oh, I got to make a handle. I'll just use my name. And she munched it all together, and you see what we see here. 
But in her mind, she still saw Danny. Got it. Jeremy. She don't see what we all see. Wait, really? She yep. The nigger man? <laughs> she, she don't see that. What? She didn't Danny G. Jeremy her whole life. That's, all the, that's the only way she can Is see it, it. We can make you it know, bigger? She didn't know that her name mushed together. Sound like a racist describing a black dude. You know, who'd you see in the store? The nigger man? Like she, she oh, whoa, know. whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> What have you done to our show? <laughs> Brian, you are officially an ally for how long it took you to see that. <laughs> what? What? Danny G. German. Yeah. It's her name. Okay. What? Um, I feel like a uh, uh, little bit of Kobayashi Maru happening right now. <laughs> Which is why I made the thing where you either get the joke or you don't based on the person who is commenting on this woman's <laughs> handle. Would you like to explain mm -hmm. to me... So her name is Danny G. German. <laughs> yes. So the duh would colloquially stand for the yeah, the yeah, and then the rest, then the rest, then the rest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you need an explanation on the the other part? Uh, He's such an ally; he may not have ever seen it written out. <laughs> is is this is this somebody who is actively posting under this name? I think it's a professional thing. Based on the font... It, a it, professional? I, I, I believe it looks like a LinkedIn handle. Okay. Seeking what job? <laughs> Liberal. We don't know. <laughs> All I, I know is that I got sent that video, and it took me a little while to get it. And then I'm like, oh, this would be fun for our show. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how long people take to get it. Brett got it about five seconds in, and we're still working on you. Oh, no. I'm pretty sure I understand exactly. And yet you're still asking questions. Yeah. I, my questions have gone from what to why. Would you like to read Danny's pinned tweet? I would like tweet. for you to read <laughs> Danny's pinned tweet. <laughs> You're afraid what Danny has to say? <laughs> I mean, yep. All right, I'm going to read it right now. All right, stop what you're doing. Because <laughs> <Got you. laughs> this is from uh, <laughs> this is from June of earlier this year. Quote: No, I will not be forced to change my name just because of racists with N word on the brain. You know who else they tried to make change their names? Slaves. Ugh. All right, this is ah 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 ah. God, I swear. Diamond Club, I need you to help me. We need a sounder for when we need to ask. Brian, are you fooled? <laughs> is Danny G. German real? Or is this some bullshit on the internet looking to get a rise out of people? Uh, Brian is swiveling his hips. Wow. That's when he knows That's truth the most. It. It's he's when he knows it. truth the most. I mean, no. You're not yeah. fooled. You think Danny G. German is fake? I do. You do? Yes. Uh, because uh, there are two paths. Uh, either Danny G. German is fake and uh, uh, wants to make a lot of noise, or Danny D. German is real, in which case would just really prefer that all this go away. I'm with you. I, I, I'm, I'm not fooled too. Like, I, I, I think, I, I did not know that that tweet existed. All I knew was this clip that, that we just played. But if, but if, but if, but if the, 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 the pin tweet is, no, just, I'm not just, gonna change my name, then I'm like, nah, okay. I kind of feel like the Danny G German that I knew in my heart when I just watched <laughs> that video would have said, oh, geez, oh, no, oh, my God. Like, I need to delete my account. I need to do a bunch of stuff. She would not be steering into the skid. Yeah. Not the Danny I know in my heart. Well, it, it sounds like you know more than me. Would you like to explain everything to the audience? 
beyond what we've done, what else do we need to explain? Well, I mean, uh, I know, I I know that video that I showed you. We're now caught up. Yep. And then Bryce just gave us new information about the tweet. I got I another tweet here if you want it. Oh. All right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. This is from. Uh, here we go, folks. <laughs> Buckle up. <laughs> from August of uh, this year. Quote: You're welcome, black people. Uh, oh, oh, wait, hold on. Wait, no, go back to the tweet. Because it's not only Danny G. German, but but also the flag Ukraine for Ukraine, flag, <laughs> a pride flag, and a black square. And a black square. This is a troll account. Yeah, this yeah. is a troll account. Yeah. There's no way that Danny G. German with a Ukraine flag, a pride flag, and a black square is real. Okay, that so now absolutely bullshit. Now we have the more complicated question yeah. of yes, we are no longer fooled, but do we approve of troll shit? Of troll shit. I mean, that's like a religious question. Like, do we, uh, I, I, I mean, we have been known to troll. Yes. So do we disapprove of, of us? Yeah. I, I now, we have, not, we have not gone to Danny G. German levels. <laughs> Just keep talking. Look at Danny. That's also not even the same woman that's on the first one. That's well, in the it's, viral been, video. it's been. That's a different. That is, that is white woman erasure. <laughs> that you think that, <laughs> that both of those women are the same. Brian's impression of a coffee maker will continue right after this. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I honestly don't know that there's any gold at the end of this rainbow. How about this? Bryce, next up is... There we go. Okay. Bonnie's here! Hey! 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 <laughs> Bonnie's dancing. This is usually well, when people would talk. Hi! <laughs> oh! I forget you this is the audio a version. Yeah. So, like, you, you're supposed to be describing my dancing. Bonnie was putting uh, hands in the air as if she did or did not care. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Bon. H how are you guys? It's been a while since you've been on the show. I know. I know. I'm busy doing my mom duties on Tuesdays, usually. Ah, your mom yeah, duties. Yeah, my mom duties. You know, I'm driving kids. I'm almost <laughs> like, stop doing that. Or I'm like, <laughs> go to bed. You know, mom things. For the record, in the <laughs> 90s, that was a half hour on the E channel. <laughs> Now it's ten seconds. <laughs> yeah, on the internet. Yep. So this is this is this is Mama Ray shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I know a little bit about the story that is about to unfold. Yes. But I'm gonna do my best to say as little as I can. Okay. You won't, because you, I I I, so, I think so, I'm just gonna throw it out there, so, yeah, and then so, Brian can kind of like you know. Guided along like some kind of like raging river or something. Can I, I just know. say this? <laughs> Normally stories are just things you tell. Right. You step up and you go, you know, a funny thing happened to me. So why don't we just start off with a funny thing happened to you? Okay. Actually, actually, I have to like say there's like it's a question. Like I because it's a big mystery. So I will just <laughs> jump in. But you guys, you guys are posed with the question, is it there's like a couple of options. So, <laughs> so, so I'm gonna jump in and then it's I'm a simple give story, you a, folks. So, so, I'm gonna so, give you multiple so, choice at the end. It's A A couple of options happen B, to me. Go. C or D. So, okay. So, let me just say that, like, I, it's a big, it's, it's been an intense time. Is it guys. the Bronze okay. Age? It's yeah. been, an, yeah. it's been an intense time because I'm a mom and I'm trying to get my kids into school yeah. and, You're you know, stop everything. stop doing that? Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it, it's a big deal. So, um, but I get my oldest to college and she's in her dorm room. So, so you go from Austin to, to Dallas yeah, so to I, drop off. Oh, wait. Uh, yes. 
<laughs> what? I told, I told you, this one's a doozy. <laughs> She's going to need some help. For the record, <laughs> you're not doing any of the helping. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yes. there's, there's that. So uh, yeah. So I'm driving up to this spot, and then I'm like, okay. So it it's a little intense. I'm I'm a bit stressed out from the summer. It's been a long time, and then I'm like, got my kid <laughs> deposited into her dorm room. Yes. It is nine o'clock. I go back to my hotel room, and I used I used. Brian says hotel tonight to get a deal, right? Sure. Yeah. And that, so then, like, that's actually Justin's trick. Oh, that was, Justin's ba trick. Back in the day when yeah. it used to be an actual deal, uh, yeah. uh, now everything's kind of become hotels.com or Expedia. But like, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I so I used that, and I thought, well, that's not a very good deal. Yeah, they're not anymore. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. Except that I got to my hotel room, and it was freaking amazing. It was a suite. Yes. And yeah. so, like, I actually got for the price that I thought I was going to room or whatever. I was like, oh, so you, this is amazing. You got the kid delivered. I got, I got her delivered, but I didn't get back to my glorious room until, like, 9 o'clock at night. Got you. And I am wired. I am, like. So you are, you are awake. I am not, not just awake. I'm just like, oh, my God, how am I ever going to get her to sleep so I can go back? Because I go, you know what? I am going to go get a glass of wine okay so right. so you are yeah. uh, where are you at in your itinerary the next day are you looking to drive back home right. or, have, or, or do you have more to, to do in this unnamed city that yeah you are... this unnamed city. so like i'm just like hey i get to do whatever tomorrow so i i can sleep in Okay. I can do. So, so what? What? What is the plan for the next day? Are you so driving the next or are day, you not? I'm driving, but okay. like I but, don't but, even but have to check out till like yeah. noon. Gotcha. So like I have so all you got morning. Time. I got time. And that, that is precious for a mama three. Yes, and I'm like, I have time for the first time in months. So, so I'm just like, yeah. So this is right, right. So then I'm just like, I'm. You know, I, I looked at the, like, room service thing because I had this really amazing room. It had, like, a whole suite and everything. And then uh, you can't get a glass of wine delivered for some reason. Or maybe I'm just so, oh, here is the other thing. I roll up and I realize <laughs> Brian's being so good. I roll up and I realize. <laughs> Brian, Brian, is, I am... Brian, Brian is definitely trying to not interrupt. But it means that he's actually just making so many thing, signs with his hands. You'd think he was an ASL <laughs> translator. <laughs> like he's just like. Like like making hand signs because he is trying to not talk. Go and ahead. And he's on my blind side, so I can't even see him just like trying to move me forward. So if you need me to move me forward, just it's you know, Bonnie, just you go. Go. Okay. Me. So go. I uh, I realize at some point that I am like I am both an experienced traveler and not an experienced traveler because like I drive up and like I try to. I try to park my car and I can't park my car. I okay. have to use valet. And I don't know how to use valet. Like I've <laughs> that that is that is a process that they streamline by design. Uh, well, you would think so, but nobody was there. So I was like, do I just leave my car? Brian always does this. I feel like an asshole, you know? So like, <laughs> I'm just like finally figure out that I just have to wait until somebody comes by and gives me a ticket. And I'm sure. Like, I learned something. So wait, like, this is before or after this you're is in before. your room? Gotcha. So this okay. is before. So then I'm just like, oh my gosh, I am experienced. I'm not, ex you know, like I know how to do this whole thing. So you're, you're in your head about enjoying the amenities exactly so Got i'm it. like i'm gonna enjoy this space and then like i get up to my room and then i'm like oh shit i didn't know how to use the ballet and now i don't even know if people actually deliver wine in room service i think they do but then i looked at the menu and it didn't show you how to do it and okay. so then i felt really dumb and then i'm just like i'm just have you have you thought about just picking up the phone and calling <laughs> I mean, like you hit zero <laughs> and you say booze, please. Yes, yeah. right. wine, wine for mama, and <laughs> they say what kind, <laughs> and you say you're so cute, and hang up the phone, and wine just turns up. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's one option. That is not the option yeah, I did. That's did. what I do. 
I like that, and now I know. Yeah. So, like, like maybe next time. But, uh, you know, I'm just like, okay, well, you know what? I'm just going to go down to the bar and get a glass of wine. Which, because, by the like, way, congratulations, the real pro move. That's the what real you do. pro move? You head on yeah. down there, and you, and you sidle up at the bar. And you just make friends with the old lobby bartender. Well, let's Nothing let's stand next to each other. Let's stand on. next to each other. Here. Sure, okay. you're standing next to each other. Bonnie's about a uh, two two three inches shorter than Justin. Yeah. Is, what think. do you What do you notice about me and <laughs> me and Justin? That's different. Uh, he's a little darker skinned than you. He is a man. Uh, <laughs> All right, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the boobs. I didn't know that the world is different for women in you the didn't bar. Know. What? No, I you didn't know. You didn't know that the world was different for women. No. Didn't you see Barbie? You saw Barbie. <laughs> that was the. I did. It was the whole fucking movie. It was. Well, here's the thing. It's like, okay. Part of it is like my experience in the world, right? Like I was pause, not two a seconds, fucking two Barbie, seconds. right? All that Brian has doubled over. You said this was thirty minutes. You were lying. It's forty. Body, go ahead. Okay. So like, so like, I sit at the bar. Huge bowl. And I'm just like, let me have my Argentina wine. By the way, if you guys want to ever. Argentina wine. Argentinian. Yeah. I like it. It's I good. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Region. Argentine. That is my Argentine wine. Yeah. So then I was just like, I'll have this one. And they bring it out. And then, like, I'm just like, oh, shit. Just like I don't know how to do valet, I don't know how to sit at the bar without making eye contact with people. This is weird. Like, I didn't know what to do. I, I, I don't play Hearthstone. I'm not going to, like... <laughs> That's not typical bar bullshit. behavior. Yeah, no. Well, That's not the I normal mean, thing people do. So you can't... So so you are very, very uncomfortable just sitting there and and maybe looking at the TV. No, you know what's really bull sad? bullshit with the bartender. Here's like, the thing is that... What? I have spent the whole summer with my children, and yeah. it has rattled my brain. So I am just glad to sit with nothing. Like I am okay with just. Okay, uh, hold on, sitting. wait, but Bun, right? You, yeah, you are allowed to do that, right? And yet, what you just said is you had a compulsive need to make eye contact with. People. No, no, actually, I that. And then I was like, well, what do I do with me? I go, I don't have to do anything. You ain't got to do shit. This sounds super healthy. Shit. Yes. You did like, the hard job of delivering your daughter to college. Exactly. You went to the hotel Yes. Bar. You ordered a single glass of wine. Your only job is to just sit. Exactly. And if Brian can what convince you that wrong? this is self-care, then he's justified about 30% of his life. <laughs> yes! <laughs> no! Just saying, like, what else We're is so there? We're so close to it? Brian being fucking golden. <laughs> right. So I just, like, I just sit. And I have a sip. Uh-huh. And then some dude sidles up and says... Would I, would I creep you out if like I sat next to you and then made you laugh with a funny story? And I said, no, that's fine. Because oh. I like funny stories. No. Oh. Did, did, did he actually no. say those words? He did. He said exactly that. Would I creep you out <laughs> if I sat next to you and made you laugh with a funny story? By the way, uh, real quick, new podcast we need to do. That's the title. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So then I'm just like, sure, whatever. I mean, I'm married to an extrovert, right? So, like, I know people need to talk. So I'm thinking, this poor man needs to talk. So oh, I was just no, like, Bon. I know. They should have explicitly put a scene like this in Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't and here and they need is to the, they they should have yeah. because i'm sitting there and all of a sudden i've got this person sitting next to me can we describe the, like, the visuals visuals yeah, uh, we need to describe okay. the person well this is a sad thing he's kind of hot and he's oh, just geez. like i know oh, no. i know How he's awful. like young no, 40s <laughs> fit like obviously works out all the time go on 
Yeah. <laughs> he's Justin. As, he's Justin with cl- like darker clearly, hair. Clearly so. growing a beard. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Really? Like what if what if this dude over here just kind of like sidled next to me and was like, hey, I'll make you laugh. And I was just like, sure, whatever. Because like I am both a novice and an experienced traveler. Okay. So, so wait, hold on. Wait, can we can we yeah. pause? Uh uh Brian, yeah, I need to bring you in here mm. mm-hmm. Are you because sure? uh, let's let's discuss lobby bar etiquette, right? <laughs> uh, because you I are... find myself in of two minds. Number one, I'm very excited that Bonnie, free of obligations uh, uh, for which she has constant, now gets a moment for which you and I have have gotten a lot more frequently living on the road, which is. Being able to sidle down to the lobby bar and fuck off and and enjoy ourselves. Right. And yet we also understand that a lobby bar is where lonely people tend to gather. And sometimes when there's a woman there, lonely men like to think about lonely thoughts with (laughs) a possible lonely woman. I can only speak for... uh, the male experience, which consists of two varieties, either... Uh, I'm performing, or I'm telling you to fuck the fuck off. Yes. <laughs> uh, telling you to fuck the fuck off looks an awful lot like me listening to a podcast and playing Hearthstone. That's another thing. We usually have earbuds in. The both correct, of us, correct. Because oh, we, yeah. we, are, we are trying to do it. Well, well, and, and this, however. And this, and, and, and this man that Bonnie described as handsome, so we can rule out Matt Donnelly. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Beef! Beef! Oh. Beef! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but just so we clear it up, we're trying to paint a picture. We're trying to paint a picture. Uh, uh. <laughs> I mean, he informed me right away that he rides his m- bicycle many times out of the week oh, in the what? day. So, oh, like, he's that guy. Oh my he's God. All right, so, Bonnie, yeah. let's, like, let's get to the story. Let's get to the Okay, what, so what is, Lance what is the Armstrong story? shows up. Yeah. <laughs> Essentially, yeah. No, I don't know. Uh, uh, but wants to he he uh, 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 seeks permission to make you laugh. Yes, right, right. But here's the thing: is like I saw him chatting up people down the way. He sits down. He's just like, oh yeah, you know. <laughs> so I work for this hotel chain, and so I get food half price or everything's half price. So do you want anything? Oh. And then I'm just like. Wait, all of a sudden, like, my first thing is, is like, is he trying to come on to me with a coupon? And I mean, then, like, it hadn't occurred yes to me that, yes. that, that, yeah. that. Yeah, but, like, that's what's happening. That, do that, people that, come on to people with coupons? I mean, yes. if, if, if you would like to save money, then yes. But coupons? He's not good at it. <laughs> okay. He's not good at it. Right, yes. right. But that's what he's trying to do. Okay. Well, that... I mean, number one, his approach was. Would it be creepy? Dot dot dot. Right. Whatever happens after would it be creepy? The answer probably yes. not the best way to start. He could have just said, "Hey, you mind if I sit next to you? I got a funny story." Uh, uh, uh real quick, how how slutty were you dressed? Damn. Uh, I mean, our victim <laughs> blaming, right? No, no. Yeah. Okay. So, what if I was really conservatively dressed, like Hester Prynne? I don't even know who Hester Prynne is. So, like, you're going to have to, like, dumb it down for me, I think. Like, uh, like, 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 uh, um, I don't know. Well, let me just tell you what I'd done that day. In a 108 degree weather, I had steamer. moved an entire dorm room out of my car into my daughter's dorm Dorm. room all you want is to drink your glass of wine so yes my panties were wet what What the the fuck fuck? but they were wet with a lot of sweat because it had just been very fucking hot it was just drenched and then so like sweat equity it was sweat equity (laughs) 
I like went up to the bar. I mean, I went up to the room. This is this is my appearance. Is I went up to my room. It's like and it's like I, it's like she's at the Nobel Peace Prize and she keeps pushing it away from them. <laughs> no, oh, no, 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 no. So like, so like I. I went up and I was just like, oh, I've only got like, by the time I got up there, I was like, I, I've got like 45 minutes, so I can't really shower and everything. And I'm like, so I had to make this I, choice. No, no, no. What yeah. happened with the guy? Oh, I'm on the board. Like, I was thinking no, 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 I could no. just fuck off where I was going. Yeah. You joined an elite secret society of lonely exactly. travelers who don't want to do anything but sit at the bar and have a drink. You right. don't need to excuse yourself for nothing. Uh, and yet you have this interloper. For whom yeah. is making the most awkward come ons of all time to you at the bar. But I feel like at a discount. I because feel like he's, the appearance... he's got coupons. And he's and also also if you want half price wing dings, he's got the fucking hook. I know, right? But like I feel like the appearance thing is important because it's just like I I had sweated all day and I had to make a choice and I went into the bathroom and I was just like, Oh my god, can you even go out in public? And I was just like, I'll change my shirt. And so I changed my shirt. I go, do I change the, everything that got sweated down here? This is a here? lot of detail. So I much know. detail. I know. Wait, and also, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Would you have even thought of this if no one had talked to you at the bar? No, no, this was like before going to the bar. No, so I'd I, I'm aware. Yeah. I, I, I'm aware oh, that no. all these decisions happened before. But I feel like if you had just gone down to the bar, had two glasses of wine, and then went back up and said, ah, dust, dust, dust my hands, what a great day, you would have never thought about what you changed and what you didn't change. Change. Exactly. It was only because this man came to, yeah. to talk to you that you were even right. worrying about it. Right. And uh, because it, you were, and not to be a feminist ally, <laughs> but you were worried about how you were coming off to this dude that was coming on to you with the most awkward hittings on of all time. But I don't know. I don't even know if he's coming on to me, right? He was. Like, wait, wait, wait. Is this uh, the question? Are, yeah, wait, are this you, is the question. You're so asking the a question. question to the audience. Yeah, so the question to the audience is, did this guy think I was available as a lonely housewife? See. Did he think I was a... Actually, no, 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 no. That, that, that may be more confusing. Wait, do you want us to answer it as you go, or do you want to list them all? No, no, no. I'm going to list them all. List them all. So then there's the lonely housewife thing. There's the prostitute. There's the hired killer. What? Mm, yeah, I know. This, this is like, you know, You look yourself in the things. mirror sometimes, and you're like, <laughs> yep. Maybe. <laughs> Kill for money. Or, no, 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 no. Let her go. Let her go. Let, let her go. go. Let her go. Let, let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Or... A coke dealer? What? <laughs> or that's even more fucked up than hired killer. Or have you ever met a coke dealer? None of the above. So like we got five options in the conversation. Okay. All right, all right. So yeah. uh, 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 eliminating first and foremost, coke dealer and hired killer. That's something you should bring up with your therapist. Right. Uh, uh, really, the only two that I would say are either lonely housewife or one of a none of the above for which is actually very common and this would be my number one pick yeah not lonely housewife although yeah. it's not mutually exclusive businesswoman businesswoman because a denizen of the lobby bar yeah that would be receptive to a man walking up and offering ah. half price apps is <laughs> the businesswoman because you, she is? Yeah, hey baby, you can call me Discount iPhone because I got half apps. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> because by the way, yeah, the, the 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 travel all the time businesswoman, she might also have the three kids at home, uh, but she's on the I road. She's on the road is. three months out of the year. Yeah. Sometimes, uh, mama needs something and it ain't wine. So okay, she needs needs met. Well, that had not. But the whole time, I'm like, immediately, at first, you know, like he's just like whatever, and I think he's just extrovert. And he had mentioned something about being like related to the hotel chain. So then, like, my dad was a. Uh, it's a half price app. 
yeah. right, right, right. So then, like, my dad was, like, in the food business, and, like, he would talk to the patrons. So I'm thinking, well, maybe he's just talking to the patrons, you know? And then, and then at some point, I'm like, oh, wait, what did I get myself into? So then I'm like inconspicuously place my ring hand on my arm i'm like yes i'm listening to your story oh, yeah oh no no no, and no, then, no, then no that no. was not an issue and then no. I, yeah no no no, no, uh -uh. no. yeah because if you're a businesswoman right absolutely not a red flag right you are you are you are just letting him know what he's getting into right he might still be getting the invite upstairs well, that was what was surprising to me. Because then I mentioned, uh, eventually mentioned, oh, I dropped my children, my child off at school today. And he's just like, oh, great. And he gets to talk about his kids. Yeah. It, right? This is all, this is all like, the equivalent of Bonnie putting on what she thinks is mosquito repellent. Yes! But exactly. <laughs> it turns out it's the reverse. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, it's mosquito okay, attractant? So my, yes. uh, yep. my full-time job now is how to repel this dude. So I'm, like, trying to, like, you know, put on whatever conversation that might, like, make him, like, not be interested at this point. So then the next thing is, like, should, should have let played me, this podcast. Yeah, let me... Let me tell you about my husband because he or he orders oysters, right? And oh then my god! <laughs> see, see, I told you, I told you. Everybody in this room, everybody in this room, just reacted. I told you that was a moment. Oh my god! Uh, did he pay full price for them, or did he pay on the half shell? <laughs> He was definitely on the half <laughs> shell. So. And he's like, are you sure you don't want any? I was like, oh, no. I just had sushi with my daughter. I am totally this full. This motherfucker is, like, operating out of the, like, 80s playbook <laughs> of Alpha Oh, my God. And at some point, I'm, I'm surprised like, he didn't pull out Benoit balls. <laughs> 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 so then I go, Okay. I got to, like, bring on my serious material. So, like, he's, like, I'm, like. So, wait, hold, 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 hold. Oh, now. Yeah. Now's the pause, time. Pause, pause, yeah. pause, 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 So, Bonnie. Yes. You ever get into this situation next, uh, uh, understand that the only way to eject is to channel your Logan Roy from succession. Just look him dead in the eye and say, I know what you're doing. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I'm sorry. I love you, but you're not a serious person. <laughs> uh, honestly, oh honestly, okay. he will appreciate it. Right. Because he's there looking to fuck. And any moment that he is taking with you, he is not fucking somebody yeah, else. But hold on. Right. No, and I, I kind of I, I, I hear Justin yeah. and I and I appreciate what you're saying. And like, remember, I pulled into Park my car. You do and not didn't know. know what you the do not know. Do. You do not know. And then, and now yeah. you know. And knowing is half the battle. And knowing is half the battle. But yet here we yeah. are in this moment. Right. He's slurping oysters next to you. Yeah. While you're like, He's like anyway, oysters. the joys of parenthood. Right. I know. Uh, I know. I and and I you know. desperately keep trying to talk about. <laughs> mundane things about your no. husband and your children. No, 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 no. I bring on the heavy artillery. Okay. I'm just like, oh, so you're eating oysters. Let me tell you about my husband. Yes. And then at this moment, I think he's going to be like, oh, you got a husband. I'm going to fuck off, right? Because, no. again, remember, I pulled in and didn't even know how to park my fucking okay. car. He doesn't but, know that. Yeah. Right, right. But then he was just like, I mean, like his whole face was relieved that I brought up the whole because, because he knew he wasn't open. gonna have to pay. Right, right. Wait, so like, what? Brian... wait, no, hold on, pause. What was what was your read on that? The moment she mentioned her husband, he knew. Oh, good God! Thank goodness you're not a prostitute. Maybe you're only a lonely housewife. What do you think? Oh no. No, no, no. He thinks she's a traveling businesswoman. And so she does not give a fuck. Like, she's talking about husband and kids, and he's like, oh, great. Yeah, thank God we can be honest. I don't have to pretend to be a bachelor with without kids. We can talk about our, our spouses, and then we're going to fuck. 
because we're both lonely business travelers and that's what lonely business travelers who are high alpha people do here's here's what will settle the debate okay at that point did he lose all interest in the oysters <laughs> No, he, uh, you know, I don't know about the oysters. I mean, he ate all okay. the oysters. He okay. went through the oysters. So I mean, it was like he paid for him. He was very frugal. So like, he was going like, so wait, hold on. Those. So your guys' conversation about <laughs> yeah. this was whether or not he believed you were a lonely housewife or a hooker at, right. at, at certain points. I mean, you have to understand that when Bonnie is telling me this picture, the, this whole story, I'm a very direct her. and, and yeah. efficient tale. I, right. I am picturing her in a red dress and 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 pianos being okay. played. Okay. Okay. By the way, I'm wearing the exact outfit I wore. <laughs> okay. okay. Mom shoes made for bunions. A white fucking shirt that's all the way up to my collar and jeans. And like, what prostitute wears jeans? This is hard but, to fuck <laughs> in. Like, you can't time. like. Now listen up. <laughs> I'm gonna get some oysters. Yeah, all right. All right. But like. If you, you you want easy on easy off, You're no, like, nobody like, thought you were a hooker. Okay. Nobody thought you were a hooker. Okay, I'm just respectfully, <laughs> respectfully. So maybe nobody <laughs> thought you were a hooker. This is respectfully. <laughs> this is Brian's take on it. He was like, he totally thought you were for sale. I'm like, there's no way I was for sale. We I, hadn't got, we hadn't gotten to the next part. Okay, <laughs> there's another. There's more. He goes my ass. Okay. <laughs> Bonnie almost backed her ass up into our entire drink setup. Okay. Juvenile would be proud. So then I'm like, I'm like, okay. So he's like sucking down his oysters. Wow. And then I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, this will surely scare. Now at this point when the oysters show up, I guess subliminally, I'm like, okay, I've got a problem on my hands. Yeah. I like allowed this guy to sit here. Yeah. And I, because otherwise he's going to start doing push-ups in front of me. I know. <laughs> He'd already told me about how much bicycling he does and all this other shit. And I'm like, oh Fake my working God. This anyway, is, go ahead. Like, oh my God. This is really <laughs> awkward. Somebody who works at a hotel and is, yeah. is hitting on people. Right. So then, uh, so then I told, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I can't see oysters without thinking about the story about my husband who's home with my child. And like, oh, no, you know, yeah, he no, does stuff like, he, he, he like nails, he, he like hits nails into his nose and eats fire and shit. And so his friends decide that, you know, the, Oh my gosh, this is your first time to eat oysters? I can't believe this. You know when you eat oysters for the first time, there's like an initiation and you have to slurp the oysters up through your nose. And you Brian have to snort the oyster. You have to snort the oyster. So Brian, I guess he was drunken with friends who were not very kind. They convinced him that he was supposed to eat his first oyster through his nose and he did. And I think that's is this hilarious. A real story, Brian? This is a uh, real. Story. Not only is it a real story, it's a real story we've told on the show before. And the fact that she's telling it again what? makes me think that uh, this is exactly how she phrased it to us. <laughs> no, it totally is. And so I'm just like, so you aren't going to be more freaky than that, you know? Basically, I didn't say that. I did not say that. But I'm just like. Listen. What, what were you hoping he would say? I was in hoping response? he would just like be grossed out and leave me alone or something. Except for the fact that you're succeeding at being the most interesting person <laughs> at the bar. <laughs> Like let let's assume <laughs> let's assume he was also just a lonely person that wanted conversation. You are doing nothing but providing the most interesting and exciting conversation that could possibly be provided at the bar at that time. There's nobody else there that's like, anyway, my husband snorted oysters. No one's got that material. Yeah. And then I mean, I mean <laughs> if if anything, he's thinking like, oh damn, she's freaky. Oh. Well, I hadn't really thought it through because once again, <laughs> yes, no. Well, I mean, let's let's like back it way up. <laughs> what? What? Thank Why? goodness, because I was at? thinking we were going way too fast. Like, like you almost did into our drinks. <laughs> no, no, no. So like, 
you know, I've got zero game because like I was the fixer upper in my friend group in high school. And then I got into magic where there's like zero, zero women. And then Brian and I like fell in love and then I'm married. So like, I don't know. You don't know these cues. I you don't, don't know. know you I, don't yeah, know this I world. like literally yeah. don't know any of this. And, and, al and also and you do what? not know the the world that Brian and I know, which is the the world of the lobby bar. The yes. world of the lobby bar is a very specific ecosystem. Yeah. Yes, it is. So, so oysters and my oyster story was not what I thought it would do. And then now he's like, oh, now we've really connected. And yeah. and then I'm like, oh shit, now what? Because in know? his mind, yeah. and in 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 where I you guys have apparently settled on prostitute or lonely housewife. Right. I I have assumed that he <laughs> thinks you are alpha bitch, uh, uh, like travel woman, and you're gonna tell that story. What he hopes the ending of that story is. Anyway, let's Facetime him while we fuck. <laughs> oh my god! Because oh, you I didn't even thought no. about that. Yeah. Oh, it's like 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 god. like next level. Open relationship shit. Just well, yeah. No, yeah. she's the boss, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Or, or like this is you. You are you run some like you, you do southeast distribution for Target, and so you're on the road all the time. You do what you want, and yeah, you, your husband. He's a sweet guy. He puts nails in his nose every he's once like, in a he, while. He snorts an oyster. Isn't uh, he amazing? Let me so show cute. you pictures of my kids. Anyway, let's bang real quick. You got to be out of the room by 9.15, though, because right, I'm getting let's, to sleep. Let's, let's get yeah. this thing, right? It, so in at, this version, I want to believe that like he's placing a bet on whether or not her tramp stamp is a Target logo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, uh, she's so much of an alpha, you can't be sure that she's not going to be looking for his tramp stamp. That's yeah. right. Like, like she is she is going to be in control from the jump. And but so he is throwing his lot in. Well, but there's got to be some reason that he's there. Is 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 there he... is? Thank you for for pointing that out because he's definitely there because his wife just kicked him out of the house because yeah. Whoa! I know. So now we get to the part of the story where he's like, "Am I a hired killer?" I don't know. No. He kept... what? <laughs> Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Wait a what minute. What just happened? Wait a minute. <laughs> no. Wait a minute. 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 We're going back. We're going back. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where does it come up that he just got kicked out of his house? So he is local to unnamed city. Where... Wait, so so he, is, yeah. he is... He lives in that city, and he's just at a hotel because the wife... Yeah, like, I mean, but you know, the narratives, like, and apparently I'm super jaded because I'm just like, I don't. What don't happened? Know what, what happened? What he said. What did he but say? He, what he says, said. so, like, what he brings to the table is my wife kicked me out because I said, if I found the contractor that fucked up my house, I, I mean, like, if it's no, a say it. Keep it. saying Finish words. It. I am. This is him. This is him. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm like channeling him. He's just like, not that I would do it in public, but if I was able to find him on a back street with nobody watching, I would beat his ass. So he is telling you a story <laughs> that him and his wife had work done to their house and it got right. fucked up. Yes. He got so mad that his wife was like, you need to take that anger out of this house, mister. And he yeah. was like, yep, I'm so angry, I'm leaving. And, and he that's did... why he wound up at this bar trying to fuck you while slurping oysters. Uh, right. Half, <laughs> eh, eh, half, half price. Half, half price. price. Half oysters. price oysters. Yeah. So I was just like, okay. Because he fucking keeps an eye on the bottom line. Unlike this fucking contractor. Unlike this contractor. <laughs> so like, real quick, I'll just run through it. He's just like... <laughs> 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 His side of the story is like... So we hire people in the neighborhood 
who are coke addicts and they come in and I go, wait a minute, coke addicts? Well, you know where all the in money went city? in an unnamed city. <laughs> and you, did you know there? Because you know where all your money's going is not into the materials for your job. And there's like, yeah, so they totally did damage to my house so and it's been start- a problem since 2021 and then my mom died after that and i was just like oh whoa, whoa 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 okay okay so now i'm this guy's got game <laughs> <laughs> no so all right body uh, i'm going to give you credit and uh uh, uh understand the 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 life that you have led that has been full of true purpose <laughs> unlike me who has spent a lot of time in bars <laughs> i immediately know everything about this guy yes. i immediately know everything about this guy and here's something that you need to know about this guy okay everything he says yes is a confession oh really which is there is a contractor that fucked people out of money guess what he is done in his life very recently. He is fucked, fucked somebody, somebody out, out of money. money. Ah. There's a guy that fucking t- keeps taking money, man, and then he keeps spending it on coke. Guess who he's talking about? <laughs> he's talking about this guy. Ooh, <laughs> slurping it out of yeah. oyster shells or no, something. This guy, this is a guy you find at bars. He is yeah. an NPC that you find at bars. <laughs> Uh, uh, and, you know, and, and I the used to be a traveling performer. Him, the more you realize that every weird, outlandish person that he hates lives right inside that little dome of his. Yeah. Now, yeah, I hear you that. On also that also takes me away from the idea that he was just a guy looking to fuck a lonely woman traveler. Uh huh. He is just the guy that desperately needs to talk to somebody because he's in a bad place in his life. So he probably wasn't even like, yes, he's a man who was probably trying to fuck you, but he was not trying to put on moves. He is desperately flailing in life and you just happen to run into him. So that's but he's probably where, rich. That's pro that's exactly where I landed. I was just like, oh, this guy's hurting. Yes. And and then I'm like, start armchair therapy. <laughs> and well, it's just like geez. and then so this is terrible. I go, well, you know, uh, I think you should try to work things out. Like your wife, <laughs> your wife is definitely scared of you. Like, no, she, but here's the thing. He uh, sat down uh, at some point and says, and he's like, you're right. You're right. You're right. You know? And I was just, and, and then, so like there's this and that, and he's beating up one of the contractors who tried to Christ. run over him. With, I know. Like, so he used to like then I really spin kicked him like this. Yeah. <laughs> I am not even kidding. <laughs> it was that close. This guy is really intent on his prowess, right? And I was just like, look, okay, your wife didn't really love that you did that, but considering that the coked up contractor tried to run over you and your child is cool oh, that no, you beat no, no, the kid, no, no, the guy no, up, right? Yeah, no, this is him telling yeah. a story where he's the bad guy. Where he's the bad guy? He's the bad guy. There's, I, yeah. no kid was in danger. I am, I am. Uh, 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 well. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, these these are these are red flags. Yeah. These are. If you've ever seen like a royal procession where there's like a color guard and they all have flags, yeah. Imagine they were all red. Yeah. No. <laughs> that's, that that's, was really that's, apparent. That's, that's, that's yeah, this that guy. Really... And, and what I'm here to tell you is yeah. that the awful stories about weird interlopers. That was him? That was him? There are there yeah. are elements of this guy. That are that that's are in that. interesting. Yeah. That yeah. I never that I've, that I've, little I've, element I've, of... I've, I've met I've met this guy. I've been in enough like because here's the thing. Yeah. Brian and I have been in a lot of lobby bars. When you're yeah. more adventurous and you and you wanna get out and experience the local color, yeah. sometimes you go to local bars. And sometimes the only bars that are open are the dive bars because you're working a job that has kept you up past 
normal working hours. Right. At which point you find yourself in shitty little bars where shitty little locals do shitty little things and tell shitty little stories. And you find out when you've talked to them long enough. And at the beginning, they're like, anyway, this motherfucker did this, this, that, and the other, blah, 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 right, blah, blah. Right, right, right. Then two hours later, because you're bored and you're talking to him much like you were. And then he starts saying, anyway, I was doing coke. I used to be a contractor <laughs> and uh, blah, 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 blah. And you're like, oh, okay. So everything that you said before is actually you. You met one of those guys. Oh, okay. So yeah. we hadn't gotten to the part where he revealed that. <laughs> There's no, 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 no. I'm saying, like, what you're saying is, like, I ended the conversation before I figured out that he was, ha ha, I was kind of so the whole time. You are you right. are not in the position, nor, by the way, or, or Brian or I. It right. Would be, it would be a Brian or I that was was in our, our, our early 30s or, or 20s. Yeah. That you stay up all night because you're like, this man has such fascinating stories. Oh, and God. then you let him go and go and go. And then eventually shit gets so drunk and you're yeah. high fiving and you're talking about the things that you like are, are aware of. And then he's like, Hey man, you want to do go, go do Coke and you should be a contractor. And you're like, <laughs> what the oh fuck? That's when you find God. that shit. Eventually they always end up with the same speech. It's like uh, we will pay half price for the apps on the shores <laughs> of France. <laughs> We will pay half price for the apps on. So this is this wait, is the wait, part. Wait, also, yeah, wait. Was he? Did he? Did he get kicked out and take the coupons with him? Or yeah. Well, I mean, he like worked for the hotel chain that I was at. He invited you yeah, but on he got a walk out of his house wait, during wait, wait, his work wait, wait. time. Yeah. Like what? <laughs> yeah. So his his wife kicks him out, and he goes to like where he's known. Like the bartender definitely knew him, and I'm just like, well, I don't. So even he's know. a local at this hotel bar, right? Because he just got kicked out of his house, and then and so then what he, was he just says like, is that he got kicked. I out I mean, of his yeah, house. that's yeah. what I'm saying. Is like I and, and I'm at least knowledgeable enough. Not I mean, like I don't know how much of this is true or whatever, but you know. Uh, I'm not gonna watch. I don't know. Maybe this box did thing. come from India. I exactly. So then I'm just like, <laughs> okay. Maybe this guy does look like he just got back from his trip to the Orient. <laughs> right. But then, uh, so um, I refuse all the second glasses of wine that I could have drank because I was just like, no. So he he kept pitching. How many times did he pitch? I would say at another least glass? six. Another glass? Yeah. Another glass? And then another the, glass? And then he like kind of motioned and then the bartender started trying. So that it was like a little, I was like, oh, now they know each other. So I, I, I'm not getting another glass of no. wine. Wait, I mean, no, like. This is the real trend. Yeah. This is like, the real trend. Mm, no, Bonnie no, no, does no. not get a lot of <laughs> alone nights. No. Bonnie not does, not, does not get very, very many yeah. alone nights in a hotel. She gets to sleep as long as she wants. If Bonnie were alone, Bonnie, I would say, would definitely do wine number two. And dare I might say, wine number three. No. Nah. Un un undisturbed. Maybe two. But then I'd be like. Third to the room. Good night. Third yeah, to the room. Third to the room. Third to the room. If if I I didn't even know like I I'm an experienced that's, traveler. That's, <laughs> I'm a not experienced this, traveler. This, this, this is Can the, I get Bonnie, it to the room? Bonnie, this is so. this is the line. Yeah. You do a third, and then while you're ordering the third, you go, I can walk with this. Oh, I and would have done that at the very beginning. Yeah. If I had only known. <laughs> That's all I wanted. Turns out this episode's a PSA. <laughs> That's all I wanted. I didn't expect that. Oh, my God. Because, like, I got, because of the fucking app where you, you like, you get the fancy hotel room, like the 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 tonight yes. hotel. I uh -huh. got this really amazing room with this jacuzzi tub, and all I wanted was a glass of wine in my the jacuzzi, jacuzzi tub. tub. In the tub. In the spa tub. And that's all I wanted, and I wouldn't have to endure this whole like coke fueled storytelling. Bonnie, session. Okay. Bonnie, right. Bonnie. Right. Oh, yeah. Here, here's God. the real PSA. Yeah. Uh, when uh, 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 mm. uh, hotels are all but like embassies. You can walk right. up and say, I would like four wines so I can carry them up to my room. And they will say yes. Ugh. They don't give a shit. Yeah. They don't. So, so you, you, know, you know how in Vegas okay. where you can order whatever you want, yeah. you can get whatever you want, and you yeah. walk around? Vegas as a concept is what if a city were a hotel? 
So any hotel with a bar, mm -hmm. it's like a little mini Vegas. Okay, okay. Yeah, you can do whatever. Because so, like, that bartender, they don't do shit. Like, 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 if a guest bitched about them, that's the only way they get fired. Yeah. So if a guest says, I'd like, like, like Brian said, I want one wine poured every five minutes. Please set a timer and keep pouring them whether or not I pick them up. Here's my credit card. Okay. They will say, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> Ding. That's it. Well, today I learned. So yeah. then I I guess the, uh, the the part, he did deliver on his pro promise for a good laugh, though, because he was just saying, he was saying. Big finish. Yeah, big, big finish. finish. He goes, he goes, yeah, well, like, my wife, like, is really concerned with how things look. I mean, <laughs> And then the conference, or not, I mean, this this town, these contractors really screwed up their house or whatever. And then, he's just, and then he just, and he goes, yeah. So when I beat up the guy, the contractor, his 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 wife is the head of her tennis league, and she got kicked out of the tennis league the next day. <laughs> That's not a punchline. How do you think? That's, how do you think, body? <laughs> this man who is courting my wife. How do you think, body responded? <laughs> so funny. <laughs> it's. Your, that postscript was so long. It was a chapter of a Jonathan Franzen novel. Like, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? <laughs> and 10 years from now, he will realize that that was the worst mistake he could ever make, hitting on that woman Wait. in the bar. I mean, it delivered. It made Bonnie laugh. <laughs> I mean, the whole bar stopped because, like, I like, laughed so loud. <laughs> And I'm like, why are you talking to me? <laughs> oh, get his ass. Yes, it's the gentleman body brush. <laughs> oh. May, may we all offer a prayer every night. Dear Lord, please let me never encounter Bonnie Brushwood at a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Ishbol, Ishbol, Ishbol. Ishbol. Oh my God. Wow. Uh, 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 Patreon.com <laughs> slash. <laughs> there we go. The world is different for women. Coming soon. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> um, We're uh, Patreon. Oysters now. No. <laughs> should so how do you think the sex was <laughs> <laughs> she laughed pretty hard anyway uh uh brian patreon.com slash great night is where you need to go to support this show right yeah uh, I, I to be honest like bonnie's story was so good we were talking about saving it for the bones but i was afraid that that it would have faded between now and then but i don't think so i'm really glad. it would have taken up the entire bones yeah yeah. But uh, 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 I, I think it was it was very very good here. Uh, but also the bones are really really good. Uh, yeah, dude. Uh, it, it's authentic. It's raw. It's honest. Um, it's another hour of the show. Do you like the show? Yeah. Well, you can get another hour of it <laughs> on the bones. Okay, but what if I wanted like uh, another hour of it? You go to patreon.com slash great night and you subscribe. What is and it? Maybe a hundred dollars? I think it's at any level. Right? What? Yeah. Well, it's at any level. Uh, we don't we don't give a shit. Give us a, uh, whatever the minimum the Two dollars an episode. Two dollars an episode. <laughs> Thank you. Give Thank us you, two dollars an episode. Boy, that got real dangerous for a second. <laughs> well, because <they>, yeah, because <laughs> also it won't let you do it anymore. We used to say give us one penny you know, or a whatever. fraction of yeah. a cent and and now they won't let you boo anyway head on over there patreon.com slash great night yep uh bryce explain the game while i go b because that story went so long <laughs>
Damn it, I needed to pee too. Okay, uh, this is a <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a new game today. Thank you to uh, Dr. Uncle Mal who sent this in. Uh, I'm calling this the Night Attack Look Back Game Quiz Quarter Hour. Yay! It's an hour. Okay, uh, 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 just to be clear, this is not one of those where you're going to tease us for like like you're going to fake us out and then it turns out that we did it last week. No, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I know it was. I know it was a little harsh last week with with all of the news stories being fake. Uh, I mean, uh, last week was okay because at least it was robot. And honestly, yeah. I don't hear any detractors, so I think everyone loved it just completely uh, <laughs> yep. Yep. sight unseen. Uh, so, uh, Doctor Uncle Mouse, when going back through the uh, the archive of of uh, Night Attack episodes, which you can find on uh, YouTube and nightattack.tv, uh, and put together this short quiz on the first few episodes of the show, uh, the first uh, nine or ten. Uh, episodes. Do you remember how long ago that was, Bri? Even Night Attack, which itself was an evolution of a show. I, I mean, I mean, uh, 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 which iteration are we talking about? We're talking about Night Attack. Oh, uh, 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 pretty sure I remember. Put it, put it in order. It, all of our names. Uh, we love this brand so much. BB Live Show, NSFW, Night Attack, uh, Great Night. Um, if we're in, uh, you forgot about Ghost Attack. How about what? Disrespectful. Ghost attack. Yeah. Also, happy hour. You forgot about happy hour. No. You well, were listening. Happy hour was while we were still doing night attack. Yeah, night yeah. attack. Yeah. That was like a next. That was like a T side venture. T I L. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> it's it's been nine years of this, folks. And uh, <laughs> we've got questions for you, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and forth. It's one person at a time. Uh, you, you it's so weird to wrest the show back from Bonnie's story. I know, right? <laughs> We're trying. All I want to do just, is hear like she thirty just more salted minutes. the earth with this story. <laughs> Which, by the way, wait, Bonnie, like like in in actual minutes, how long did all of this take? Like you sitting at the bar. <laughs> She's back. Just, just say. I guess it was probably like an hour and a half, and one oh, no. one glass of wine. Because now I couldn't have two because now I don't want to get sloppy in front of like. Oh no! So like it, it wasn't now. like you had half off app coupons. Oh, I know. I didn't want to spend that much on. So an hour and a half. Eh, an hour and a half. Yeah. Okay. All right. So about a one to one minute equivalent for the story. About a 50% ratio on that one. Uh, so I'm going to give you a question. You can either answer it without a hint for three points, or I can give you a very short, very small hint. But if you get it right, you only get one point. Okay. Uh, get it? Uh, and we're playing against each other? Or, or and you're playing against each other. Brian right. B. Justin. All right. Let's go. All right. Brian, I'm going to start with you on this one. Uh, the very first episode of Night Attack featured a music... Oh, uh, Brett, would you, would you mind keeping score? I do not mind keeping score. And you want to play? I do not want to play. Uh, here we go. Brian, we'll start with you on this one. The very first episode of Night Attack featured a musical performance from a who? Oh. Bum, bum. Brian? God, it be Mike TV. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, is that your final answer, Brian? Because this is only to you right now. Yes. Are you going to say Mike TV? Mike TV is incorrect. Oh. That is not it. For one point, bro, uh, Justin, can you figure out the steal? Can you steal it? Who was it? The Possum Posse? Oh, let's find out. Loser. No, 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 no. Uh, if I gave you the hint of alter ego... Oh, old John Smokey. It was old John oh, Smokey. Dog on it. Yeah. He was uh, playing them spoon. And, and, and uh, Tom, uh, our friend Tomas Marit, was the guest on that episode. Yeah. Uh, but but uh, not. But not old John Smokey. Oh. Really, honestly, putting, putting oh my God, the rumors. My, it was in my fucking. <laughs> Yeah, TSA no, took my like, spoons away. <laughs> so here's here's the fucking the dementia proof for me is that it was in my house. 
Old John Smokey literally <laughs> sat in the chair I was sitting in. <laughs> Singing to do about the, the TSA taking his yeah. screens and then away. I, and then I fucking picked up my webcam <laughs> so I could do MTV in, in 1993 nice. level camera work. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, I'm already heartened by this game about how little <laughs> I know about my own life. I thought... Uh, Thought this would be the easy question. All right. Fuck! <laughs> Justin, we're going with you on this one first. Awesome. <laughs> Episode two featured a story about Brian and Justin running into who? Oh my god. Who did we run into? All right. So this is. I'm trying to think of all the trauma that was going on at the time. Now, if yeah. you can answer without a hint, you'll get three points, or I can give you a short hint for one point. Yeah, short hint. Give me a short hint. Tag. Okay, it was Alex Jones. We were in uh, South by, and we and we saw Alex Jones at Blazer Tag, which is now next to my house. Uh, he was playing like uh, Fruit, Ninja. Fruit, Fruit Ninja. Yeah, yeah. we and, saw. And, we unironically said, hello. Hello, we just wanted to say hi. And he said, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then so uh, I guarantee you that, that this interaction won't be in a giant embarrassment in 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, uh, we were, Blazer Tag is not big, the, the lobby area where everybody congregates before they go in to play Laser Tag. And so I definitely saw a man walk up to Alex Jones and unironically very firmly shake his hand and say you're a great patriot oh, Lord. oh wow that was the thing i definitely saw he was not playing fruit ninja then oh no. and he was with uh two kids his kids were Some they kids. his kids or were they his like nephew and niece i think i, I, I for whatever reason in my brain this is the thing I remember. There was some mention of nephew and niece. Anyway, uh, 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 there we go. Alex Jones. There we go. It was Alex Jones. Out with his, like, his dinky two slices of pizza from Blazer Tag it is the resplendent face <laughs> of Infowars.com own Alex Jones. The like, resplendent you... face <laughs> of Infowars.com's own Alex Jones. Glad I have better hair now. <laughs> All right, that's one point we're for not, Justin. We're not going to talk about the resplendent face of... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, come on. You, you remember that moment. That moment was magic. Yeah. Like, we were there at Blazer Day. I, I, I wasn't there. I wasn't there. Yes, you were. Yeah. You were. It was your child's birthday. Alex... <laughs> okay. Now come on awesome. Now come on Come on Come on Pierce You saw me You saw me I was there My resplendent face I was I was there My two kids were there Pierce Don't deny it Don't deny it You saw me at Blazer Tag There's, there's no way I want to escalate this bit I'm You sorry. began the face <laughs> <laughs> You pimped me to do the thing. This Sorry. is the, the world's first brat comedy trope. <laughs> Sorry. 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 All right. Uh, I think we're starting with you on this one, Brian. Yep. <laughs> I feel betrayed. You should. <laughs> Episode three saw the introduction of a new and now rarely remembered character going by the initials CBM. What does CBM stand for? <laughs> Oh my God. He stands. A new and now rarely remembered character. I think CBM. Uh, uh, <laughs> I got nothing. I'm sorry. Take a small hint. I'll take a small hint. Sure. Uh, the small hint is Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> We were uh, CBM. So this was before I got married. Yeah. So I assume we it was were an Oakland. bird. I mean, CBM, the first thing I think was Comic Book Man, but it's definitely not Comic Book Man. No, but if it has to do with Ashley, I would imagine it's uh, 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 something to do with uh, Dr. Birds. Bird. Yeah. yeah. Um, we would have had Dr. Bird by then. Uh, Cuckoo Birdman. You're going to say Cuckoo Birdman. Yeah. That answer is 
Loser. L- 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 loser. Oh, Incorrect. Justin, for one point, CBM. Fuck if I know. I have no idea. Oh, God. <laughs> Do you want to take a guess for comedy? Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh calorie burning <laughs> machine. <laughs> You're on your he's orange like, theory back he's then. He's like yeah. super buff. He's flapping his wings. And he's like, and flap. No, and good, no, and it's just, no, the calorie burning machine. He just, you know, he rides his bike all the time. And <laughs> then he gets into a fight with a contractor. <laughs> and right. his wife kicks him out. And he goes to the hotel bar where he gets half price abs. <laughs> and then he's like, anyway, these guys are all doing coke around me. I don't even know. I'm a calorie, calorie burning burn machine. <laughs> All right, uh, that was also wrong. Let's take a listen. Uh, yeah. Let's take a listen on what it actually was from episode three. EM stands for. <laughs> All right. Creepy British man. Creepy uh, British creepy man. British man. Oh, British British man. Yeah. British man. She she was not a fan. Want to hear the impression? Yes. I don't believe you can. <laughs> <laughs> the tongue. I feel, I the feel tongue very work. Bad. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that might have been at the beginning of the point in our relationship where she had to invent the character gun. <laughs> what? Because I would come was, up with so is... many fucked up characters that would be there just to annoy her. And so she had to invent the character gun where we had to agree in our relationship that I would respect that when she shot a character with the character gun, the character was dead forever. <laughs> And creepy British man. It's actually was... very healthy. I, I I I approve of this. Yeah. So yeah. Creepy British man, which was invented literally just so I could make tongue noises directly in her ear. <laughs> <laughs> and just go. <laughs> well, now, love. Oh, uh... What do you say? <sighs> <laughs> uh... May and you get a little more familiar. <laughs> Oh. Two. Oh. <laughs> Character gun came out. Creepy British man has not been around. Oh. Oh. There you go. Creepy British man. Although she actually came up with a counter character. Oh. Called Little British Boy. <laughs> Can you. <laughs> could you. Could you I uh, can't really do the voice. Could, 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 can you call her? The, the, oh, shit, maybe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, creepy. British. Call Ashley Paramore. Uh, call uh, call uh, her a creepy British boy. CBM was also called Alfie in that episode. Well, yeah, because I was ripping off Michael Caine's voice. It's all about Alfie. Oh. Hey, uh, so we're doing a bit on the show uh, where we're looking back at the beginning of Night Attack, and uh, uh, one of the questions was me doing the creepy British man voice. <laughs> Where I would just uh, do a Michael Caine impression and then make uh, tongue noises, uh, and you apparently shot it with the character gun. But I was telling them that the response that you made to that was the little British boy, and I was wondering whether or not you'd like to do the little British boy voice for the audience right now. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Go. <laughs> ah, what are you gonna do? Channeling, <laughs> channeling me Kid, all the time. Kids today, <laughs> am I right? <laughs> I asked. <laughs> That's how boundaries work, kids. <laughs> yep. All right. She said no. uh, let's see here. We're gonna go to Justin now. Before we do that, Brett, quickly, what is the score? The quickly, the score is Brian has no points. Justin has one point. Oh, there we go. Yeah. We go. All right. Uh, round number four. We're going to start with Justin on this one. Let's go. What accessories did Brian and Justin wear for all of episode four? Oh. Oh, yeah. I know this one. Wait. Uh, who, who's, 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 who's. This is, is for it? Justin first. Oh. Uh, top hats. Show me. May, top may I hats. go? Uh, well, show me top hats. People, I'm Brian Brushwood on this there very average episode. Top hats and Join monocles. I was about to say top J-R- hats and, and monocles. We'll yeah. give it to you. It's, as you probably should have, but. Well, hey, hey, there we go. We didn't know. Nope, I get the points. <laughs> there we go. That'll be three points to Justin. Ooh. 
Because okay. that was, we hit 1,000? 2,000. 2,000 yeah. patrons, huh? That was back when nobody realized how expensive this stuff was. <laughs> And uh, this was also the uh, that tease yeah. movie draft. This was a, a movie draft. So you guys oh, were... Teasdale was in the background. By the way, how far off do you think we are from bringing back the movie draft? I want to do it immediately. Okay. That's that's a question for the commissioner, who I'm told is very is kind of busy at the moment. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I, uh, yeah, there we go. That's uh, three points for Justin. Woo! Yep. Bam. Like that. Ryan, we're going to you now. Ready. Episode five featured, uh, yes. Episode five featured advertisements for scamstuff.com. What was being promoted on the store? Oh, oh them bargains oh, are coming. Heave ho, heave ho. Them bargains are coming. Heave ho, heave, heave ho. ho. Them bargains are coming real fast. Uh, everyone work your ass. And what say we do a little blow? Yay, blow! <laughs> Let's work double harder, twice as fast. Twice as fast! Let's work double harder, twice as fast. Twice as fast! Let's work so fast, I don't fucking you pay. I, I, I oh. forget how the rest of it is. <laughs> Whatever. I think we eventually do meth. Let's my punch my contractor for fucking up the job. Punch the job! <laughs> Show me the Let's Work Anthem! Oh, incorrect. Though I did remember that was a good bit. That was a very good bit. <laughs> Justin, uh, for one point, episode five featured advertisements for scamstuff.com. What was being promoted on the store? Can I get a little hint? Uh, yes, the hint word is gag. <laughs> <laughs> gag. I, want, I want you to consider how good of a hint word that is when... He doesn't fucking know. He runs the goddamn well, store. Come on. It, stop it. You no, stop it. You stop it. You stop it. No, you stop it. Stop it. You stop it. <laughs> Do you know it? Oh. <laughs> he does not. <laughs> Never has more been said with less. <laughs> It was uh, Brian's famous gag gift. Like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Was there a... <laughs> it's famous, is it? Motherfucker bragging about... Someone's yeah. going to stroll up and buy some oysters next to you. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, I, I think it was uh, uh, the first puzzle box. Ah, uh, the first puzzle box. All right, let's see what it was from this episode, episode five. This thing started. Such a beautiful dream. Anything is possible. <laughs> With twice the money. Why don't you get a little weird? Live dangerously. Experience the double your price sale right now. At scamstuff.com. <laughs> We're looking for the double your price sale. No gimmicks. No BS. <laughs> only true. Uh, this was the April Fool's sale where everything actually was double priced on the All store. All right. So this is actually a really, really, really funny story because Brian and I were talking about this for a while and I had to do a go game in Palo Alto, which from Oakland is about an hour and a half drive, despite the fact that it's only like 30 minutes or 30 miles away. And we were talking about it on the way there. And then I was in the middle of the game and Brian calls me and he's like, Hey, um, I'm dressed up like Albert Scampson and uh, I have all the cameras running. Oh, that's right. What, what, ch no, cause we came up with the idea that we we're going to just do a bunch of random shit and then throw it out to the audience to make the commercials. Right. And so He's like, I, I, I'm dressed up. The cameras are running. I did a few things so we know that we have the actual, like, information out there. Like, what else should I do? And then the next 30 minutes was me with no visuals, just yelling things for Brian to do. <laughs> I was just like, like, hands up, jazz hands, hands down, jazz hands. It now is turn around and say... These are the magics. Like, 
It 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 is worth taking a look at some it's of these. It's really it, fucking it's, good. It's, it, yeah. It, yeah. Monarchs, the mystery box deck, all of them at twice the value price. Mainly price. <laughs> Alfred Scamston, you can't charge twice the price. Come and find me, bitches. Everything <laughs> in the store, normally 55% off. Today, only 5% off. It happens like this. <laughs> 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 wow i remember editing one of these and hearing uh you could hear justin over the phone on like the footage <laughs> <laughs> giving it, giving me death like that all right there we go no points on that one sorry about that yeah how it goes uh number six i think we're gonna start with justin on this one yeah justin uh episode six Episode 6 showcased wonderful remixes of MC Allergy's song about the dangers of kissing someone who has been sucking on nuts. In one video of Curtis Boyle's remix, how was MC Allergy portrayed? Oh. Uh, as a strong woman. <laughs> as a strong Strong oh, woman. Bold take. Yep. Oh, uh, I'm an ally. You, are, are, are you sure you don't want just at least one point? Give me one small hint. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll give you the hint. Uh, the hint is, I might die. <laughs> <laughs> you this should have taken the hint. <laughs> not, a, not a great hint. The hints are it's a, it's a, it's supposed to be a tough game. If I gave you all if I gave you all of the clues, you would know the answer. Uh, no, you wouldn't. No. <laughs> no, no, we wouldn't. Oh. Oh, do you know how much damage I've done to my brain? <laughs> so uh as an extra strong woman. <laughs> moving on. Incorrect. I mean, she was a strong woman, and the message is rather strong, but I don't think that's what we're looking for. Brian, for one point for the steel. How was your wife Puppet. portrayed? I'm sorry, can you say that again? Puppet. Is that a, I was, uh, it sounds like there's maybe a glitch on the machine. Puppet. Puppet. Oh, pu uh, puppet. A uh, puppet. Okay. Puppet. Puppet. All right. Well, uh, let's. Brian, your answer of puppet. Uh... Puppet strong. Yeah. Yes! Thank you to Jackie Hearn for making that, that music. Hey, yeah. hey, boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, the, the song was called Hey, Boyfriend, right? Yeah. yeah. Parentheses, don't suck on those nuts. Don't suck on those nuts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here we go. That's a point for Brian. Got it right. Sock puppet was what we were looking for. How <laughs> old were your kids then? <laughs> Very, little. Very little. Very little. Very little. Whole conference dedicated to teens. From uh, kissing, yeah. You There's should, a whole conference a dedicated, talk. yeah, yeah, to to teens not dying from kissing allergen infested paramours. Uh, yeah, okay. Brian, Brian number <laughs> seven. All right, we're gonna go back to Brian on this one. Question seven. Okay. Episode seven featured the first incarnation of a game that has since returned multiple times over the years. What's that game? It's got to be apologizes for. Mm, yeah, I would agree. All right, your answer of apologizes for. Oh, we got a good answer from the crowd. Here we go. This oh. correct. Ooh, then it's got to be the steel. news six. The news that six. No way. Oh. No. News yeah. six. News wait, six wait, wait, was hold, a. Hold, hold, open it up. Does anybody know? 
I heard it from uh, uh, a crew member. Uh, Annalisa. Was it Startup Spelling Bee? The Startup Spelling Bee! Uh, News 6 uh, was a Bryce joint, so that was not for a few years. Uh, apologizes for, I think you had already been doing at this point. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, do, uh, do, uh, do you want to see the initial Startup Spelling? Because initially, I didn't realize this until I was looking at these clips, but it is... Uh, uh, Am Trekker's idea. It's like his whole, he had like a whole process. Okay, we don't want to read too many of them because the next yeah. part of this process is that we are actually playing a startup spelling bee. Yeah. Justin. It, well, and this is the thing is, is, is we want to make it like, uh, we want to test it out right now and see how it plays. But we were thinking, how fun would it be if we had a spelling bee where it had to be a tech startup and we would take people from within the tech industry and maybe every week. Like people whose business it is. To know what these shit like, what these things are spelled, and by the way, ninety percent of them are at least trying to be actual words. Yeah, yeah. there we go. I look like a guy who works at Halal Guys. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get some tzatziki sauce, please? Exactly. <laughs> All right, that's a point uh, to Annalisa for that one. Yeah. Man, when's the last time that we eliminated Brett from the origin of the show? <laughs> Oh, a lot of, oh. Suddenly I feel weird. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing along, and all of a sudden you had to bring that out. No, not you. The, uh, oh. No, that guy. <laughs> no, no, Yet. No. That, <laughs> that's actually when it got funny, was when <laughs> you accidentally <laughs> upset Brett. Oh, it's not about me. Uh, no. the, <laughs> Brett Ronsville. Uh, right. Uh, just a few more questions here. We're going to go to Justin, I believe. Justin. Yep. Episode 8. In this episode, Brian revealed having a crisis of conscience of whether he should really move to L.A. to further his career. We also got a live reading of a nostalgic book read by what guest? <laughs> We're going to start with Justin on this one. A nostalgic book. That's right. Can I get a little hint? Uh, yeah, the hint is Time Raider. Time Raider? Time Raider. Like Tomb Raider, <laughs> but not, uh, but a, a conceptually entirely different thing. Patrick Rothfuss. <gasps> Incorrect. It was not Patrick Rothfuss. Brian. I, I, I was going to say Jackie Hearn. I mean, I, I don't know, man. Like, this is. How do I know about any other history? Like, this is disgusting. I don't remember my own life. This makes me question everything. <laughs> do you remember writing the book in which uh, the president's daughter secretly gave... Secretly pres gave president stops a zombie invasion with the help of a wizard and his barely legal teenage daughter whose titty falls out at one point. Yeah. Yeah. You know I what? do remember writing that book. I think it's that book. Because that shit was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> now, Brian, we're looking for the uh, the person who read it. Who's, who's your guest for the steal? You, are you aware of the words Time Raider in the hint? Nope. <laughs> 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 no, sir. Can't say. <laughs> uh, a, any guess? Any guess? Uh, I'll give, Think give of an author. You already said Patrick Roth Rothfuss, right? Yep. Uh, oh wait, Stan Stan Ree. Jesus. All right, let's. Uh, Did Len Peralta doing his Stan Lee? Impression? I hope so. I hope so. All right, let's uh, let's jump over to the clip and see who it actually was. But we have the author of this book. What what is the name of the book? Brian, it's the Time oh, Raider. God the Time it, Raider. Oh my gosh, it's it R.L. Stein. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Hold up the book so we can see it. I, I don't think many people believe the Time Raider, written by R.L. Stein, twist a plot, book one, Journey to the Future, or to the past. There we go. Mm, I'll let that one breathe a little bit. That's a good impression. I'm yes. Alone. Oh, it's good. It's good I've to see you. I've written many books. Among my favorite was Twister Plot 1. <laughs> no. I remember when Scholastic pitched to me the Twister Plot series. <laughs> well, no, what did they tell you about it? Well, 
I remember it like it was yesterday. I was in my hot tub, yes. alone, <laughs> smoking a poorly rolled blunt and <laughs> sipping upon a fine port. Yes. Scholastic calls me and says, RL, what's the deal? <laughs> what's the deal, is what they said. This is back in the very, 80s. Yes. yes. It, was a, it was a fast life, Brian. Okay, all right. And they yeah, said, all right. RL, we have an idea. You write an adventure where everybody was able to say what they wanted to do on their own accord. <laughs> yes. We will define. Yes. All right. And I said, that sounds like choose your own adventure. <laughs> and they said, LOL, I know. <laughs> there we go. Uh, RL Stein. For, for the audio listener, there was a chocolate chip uh, stuck to my forehead. It was a chocolate chip. Yeah. Oh, pop-up uh, video. Chocolate chip. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He has a mole. I don't know if that's making fun of a disability. I'll leave that to kids younger than Gen Z. Yeah. To, to my new book, Is It Rude? <laughs> By R.L. Stein. I remember, Brian. <laughs> uh, all right. When uh, Scholastic pitched to me <laughs> whether or not Brian would shut this down like he did the Alex Jones routine. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, Brett, uh, as we go into our uh, penultimate round, what's the score? The score is Brian has one big point. Yeah. And Justin has four little points. Itty bitty <sighs> point. Four points. points. Uh, She's so big. Oh, my little chocolate little chips. Little you got so many little chocolate chips. But you, oh, but pop- you win. Oh, I have coupons for half off apps. <laughs> 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 Mr. Steel, yo, girl. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, all right. This one is uh, a. This one's gonna be slightly different. (laughs) Slurping my way in them guts. (laughs) (laughs) Slurping them guts. You know how they say you should uh, slurp oysters with the alphabet. (laughs) <laughs> oh, oh, fuck off. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, no. We I'm calling a timeout. I get one. I get one. Uh, uh, Bryce. Timeout. Uh, timeout. Uh, Don't fuck with him too much. He'll shave the beard. <laughs> You know, when they say what? that you should yeah. do, do... No, th- shut, stop! <laughs> Ask your lawyer. No. <laughs> Just move on. A- For a million different reasons, you're out of your death. <laughs> 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 All right, Brian, we're going to start with you on this one. This one is a little different than the previous. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going to both go back and forth until one of you cannot name a name. Uh, that answers this question. We're going to start with you, Brian. Name people who are in the studio during episode nine of Night Attack. You got to give a little hint. Uh, 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 no, I'll take no hints. All right. Also kind of not a hint round. Uh, Brian, can you name one person who was in the studio that day? Can you just like name the title of the show? Tom Merritt. That answer is uh, wow! I didn't expect to need a wrong answer. It sounded so soon. Well, yeah, that, <laughs> Doy, <laughs> jo- jo- you lost. I win. <laughs> well, Justin, you got to get one. No, I don't. I have four <laughs> points. Four <laughs> points. Oh, yeah. okay. Which four is why points. I was asking to four fucking points. at least name the show. Four points. <laughs> <laughs> what if? Uh... Can we go back? If I could turn back time. The problem is if I give you the name of the episode. If Brian could have a chance, I would find a clue that would make this game make sense. (laughs) You don't remember episode nine? Just name the fucking episode. I I can't. It's going to give everything away. I don't give a fuck. Jomo. It was the group therapy episode. Oh, fuck you. All right. Fuck you. There we go. Name Start. Brian Brushwood. Correct. Justin Robert Young. Correct. Corey. Now what? <laughs> Corey Coleman. <laughs> Correct. Martin. Martin who? Thomas. Correct. 
There are only two answers left, I believe. A sad chat room. Oh, no, for the steal, Justin. Oh! Ah! Bonnie? Show me Bonnie! Oh! 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 Correct! The other names we were looking for Roberto Viegas and Jay Brushwood. Jesus. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. I thought I thought episode nine, you know, episode nine kind of one of the one of the I mean we we to should you <laughs> I mean uh, we we've worked infamous very episode. very hard to forget that episode <laughs> you know what? for a very long time. <laughs> it's uh, it's a, a good point. Okay. Uh last <laughs> last question. Last question is finally the final round of the game. Brett, what's the score? I have no idea at this point. Wait, uh, wait, 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 three wait, to four. Which one was the? It's one to four. One to four. Okay. Family therapy, because really, uh, that wasn't the one where we got into That's, the big. No, yeah, yeah that yeah, was the yeah, big yeah, fight yeah, one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Where we totally derailed, fucking everything. Yeah, yeah. It, would you like to tell us more about? No, that? no, 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 no. I, for whatever reason, I thought that was during. NSFW, but I guess that definitely wasn't. No, oh, no, 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 no. The, no, NSFW, no. NSFW, the one NSFW was the one, one where we almost got fired on our fourth episode. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yes, because uh, 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 two episode. people were 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 Danny G. Germaning. <laughs> they, uh. they, 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 we were told explicitly curse as much as you want, yes. and the next day we were told. Never Stop curse cursing again. because the way that you were yes. cursing was inappropriate. <laughs> All right, final question here. Uh, you are both going to answer this one. This oh one. shit! Yeah, no, that's an ultimate. Th thankfully, I've gotten to a point with Corey that it's not every time I see him that he brings up episode nine of Night Attack because it took about two years for every time I saw Corey. Corey, at some point, there'd be pleasantries. We'd have a good time. We'd laugh a little bit. And then just be like, you still fight with Brian like that? Because <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's a tough one. Yeah. Uh, final question here. You're both going to answer this. Uh, closest guest will win. Doesn't matter if you go over or not. During what number episode, and this is for 10 points, during what number episode of Great Night was this quiz played for the very first time? God damn it. I know, I know exactly what it is. I'm going to let you go first. We're going to start with, uh, yeah, we'll start with Justin first then. Okay. <laughs> Wait, say that again? During what number episode of Great Night was this very quiz played for the very first time? Oh, during what number? Yes. Oh. During what episode of Last Great Arthur. Night? Oh, during of looking back at yes. old episodes. During uh, during what number episode of Great Night, this program that uh, we're uh, in the So we've already of, done this show. Was this, We've already done this quiz. On That's this show. That's the question. During what number you episode of Great Night asshole. was this quiz played for the very you first time? You fucking asshole! You told me during no TOS. Ah, fuck it, whatever. We'll get kicked off. We'll be on kick. I don't give a shit. Look, no, just, hey, 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 hey. You fucking told us in the pre-show that this was not a fucking humiliation bit. It's not, is it? It's not, is it? It's Episode not. one. Episode one. Thankfully, Brian's so white, his nipples don't even show up on camera. <laughs> Brian, uh... If, if I stand like... No. <laughs> oh, gosh. No. Uh, no, go ahead. No, no, no. So stick out your bag, so... Oi. Okay. Uh, Brian, uh, Justin has guessed the very first episode. The closest guest will win this one. What number episode of Great Night was this very quiz played for the very first time? Nine. Okay, episode nine. Yep. Why do you wh uh, why do you believe that? Because it's German and makes me think of Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> it's German, so it makes you think of Hitler. Okay. Yep. yep. 
interesting to say the least. <laughs> Let's just get to the end of it. Let's take a look at what the very first time we played this game was. Okay. Yep. yep. Interesting to say the least. <laughs> Let's just get to the end of it. It was episode 113. This is a new game. <laughs> <laughs> Brand new. <laughs> That's fair game. That's fair, Jacob. All right. Thank you once again to Dr. Uncle Mao for giving us this game. Uh, uh, I enjoyed writing this one. I hope you enjoyed playing it. If you've got an idea for a game, send it into our email address, greatnightpod at gmail.com. Check the show notes wherever you're enjoying this fine program if you want that email address. Thank you. Oh, I can't gotta even, tell you. I, I can't even still be Still don't love it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even be mad. <laughs> oh, That's the difference good. between me and you. <laughs> Uh, 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 hey, Brett, what have we learned tonight? Just a few thoughts that came to my mind as we were uh, oh, going through this. One was coming soon. Night. Would it be creepy I don't wait another if I sat next to you and made you laugh? Night. The movie. That was one. Uh, number two, the ladies really like it when you come on to them using a coupon. I did not know that. And... If you think the guy wants to screw you, you just may be depressed. Oh, it's been a great night. Bonnie, I am so great depressed. <laughs> Damn. Uh, look. Just to my friend, the uh, never ends still a great night. <laughs> Shine on, you crazy diamonds, except for Bryce. What? No, 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 no. I'm giving credit. I give credit where it's due. That was great. That was great. I didn't. I still remove credit conscientiously. You keep me alive. You help me survive. No, there's never been a greater night, a single bad, a later night, a pause the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater, great night. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>